Good morning everyone, today is Saturday and we're taking a rest bite from skiing today which I'm quite thankful for because yesterday I did actually twist my leg I fell over and my legs ended up like behind me um, and yeah I kind of twisted my right leg slash knee um, it's feeling a lot better this morning so it's fine quite thankful that we're taking a respite day and so we're just gonna go into town walk around again go in some shops I'm gonna hopefully get some more of that chocolate because it was delicious and I haven't stopped thinking about it since I had it on the first day <laughs> but yeah I'm so proud of how far I've come with my skiing I didn't actually think I'd be enjoying it as much as I am oh it's starting to snow oh cute I would show you but it's a very light dusting so I don't think it would pick up on camera but anyway yeah I'm really proud of what I've achieved whilst we've been here um, and I'm really really enjoying it which is always fun as well and I'm so thankful to Harry and Freddie Harry is Toby's brother and Freddie is his partner and they're just the loveliest people ever and they put us up in their house for like 10 days and they're so kind and yeah Harry's really helped me with my skiing and I'm so thankful and I know you guys watch the vlogs so hi <laughs> um just thank you for everything you've done whilst we've been here and we've still got a few more days here and yeah we're gonna go skiing tomorrow Freddie is off work tomorrow as well so she can ski with us which will be nice as well and yeah we'll just see where the next few days take us okay slight change of plan so we're gonna go play disc golf and Toby's brother is a semi-professional yeah semi-professional disc golf player which is something i'd never heard of until i met toby and his family and disc golf is basically golf but using frisbees and you play it in like a massive park because you know you've got to throw the frisbee far and then it goes into a net instead of a hole like in golf um so we're gonna go try that Harry did say it might be a bit too snowy and sludgy in the park that they play it so we might actually not be able to do it but we're gonna go try and then this evening we're gonna try and get into a local hockey game which is gonna be so cool because I feel like hockey is very Canadian um, and I would love to see that and then we are still gonna go into town so I can hopefully still get my chocolate and we'll have lunch and dinner so that's the plan instead. I am already not good at this game. <laughs> We've come into the local Canadian supermarket just to see what kind of goodies they've got in here. So we are on our way to the ice hockey match. Um, apparently it's just a bunch of 16 year olds. It's like a local game, which is cool. Um, but apparently they like really go for each other and like hurt each other. <laughs> so we'll probably still get the full ice hockey Canadian experience. That's if we get in, because we're not guaranteed tickets. And apparently because it's such a small town, everyone flocks to go and see it when it's on. So we'll see. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything when i feel like this 
hockey game we ended up ordering pizza for dinner after the match and honestly it was so cool to go and watch ice hockey being played live and also being played live in Canada that's like such a Canadian thing to do it felt like a look you know I mean this was like a 16 year olds game right so they were all like teenagers but they were like hurting each other they were like flipping each other upside down Honestly, it was violent, and the crowd was even worse. <laughs> the parents and like friends and family, I'm assuming, of the people who were playing, or they could just also be locals who were supporting the local team, like we were. But like these people, some of the things they were shouting, it was hilarious. Some of the things that they were saying. Um, luckily, our team ended up winning, which is great. We were rooting for the Fernie Ghost Riders, and they were playing in the black and white striped shirts. So yeah, we did well. Tomorrow we are meant to be skiing. However, Freddie has informed us that actually, I don't think I've informed you guys about what Freddie's job is. Freddie is part of the snow patrol on the ferny alpine resort so like the ski resort and so honestly she's like so badass basically she's keeping everyone safe she gets up super early and literally sets off avalanches on the mountain so that they don't happen throughout the day like she just skis along and throws bombs at the, the snow you know it's like insane anyway going back to what i was saying freddie has told us that um apparently this snow on the lower half of the mountain isn't going to be very good and it's going to be quite wet which is not great to ski on and obviously someone who is very new to skiing that's not what i want to hear the guys who are obviously more confident with skiing can obviously go higher up the mountain so me and toby's mum, sam might not ski i don't really know you kind of don't know until the day so we'll see what happens in the morning i'm super tired but yeah see you in the morning or in another vlog i have no idea how this video has turned out maybe this is already the second vlog maybe it's really short and this is still the first vlog <laughs> who knows i'll find out in the edit <laughs> bye good morning it is sunday so it is sort of our second to last day we go home tuesday but basically we're spending the whole day in the airport because we have a six hour layover so although technically tuesday is our last day it doesn't really count so <laughs> i really see this as our second to last day um which is really sad uh but we're gonna make the most of it or try to anyway because i think i said last night the snow might not be great on the mountain but we're gonna go check it out and see what it's like I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough Cause climb Cause I'ma live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by I be in my feelings, I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight, yeah I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight, always have a vision I go by at night, I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for it So we're back from skiing for the day, it was really good it was so cute we went through the trees and it was all snowy and it was so cute also i'm in the swimming costume because i'm gonna go jump in the hot tub in a moment so today we went up the elk lift and then we kind of went round along and down to the great bear express and then we went up the great bear express look at that so high like oh my gosh look how high that is <laughs> so we got up here 
and then we followed this green 90 all the way around <laughs> we did it all through the trees came down here down here and then we came and joined onto this one and then I believe we came down 43 and then ended up like over here by the car park to go home but yeah that's what we did I'm really proud of myself because I was feeling a bit anxious today because it was really snowing quite hard this morning which made visibility obviously a lot more difficult um and i was worried i wasn't going to do too well with that and also harry and freddie were talking about taking us through the roads which is what we ended up doing and i was a bit like nervous about doing it because i didn't want to slow anyone down and everything um but we did it and it was really good it was really pretty and yeah something i'd not done before i mean obviously i've not done it before i've never skied before in my life so <laughs> everything i'm doing this week is new very exciting and Oh my god, tomorrow's going to be our last day skiing. Oh, that makes me sad. But I need to go jump in the hot tub because we've been snow plowing, which is like this, the entire day. And my legs are killing me. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> I was just telling them what we were getting up to today. Oh, okay, yeah, what are you tell them? Well, sum up the day in one word. Wet. Wet. It was a wet day. It was quite wet. It was a wet day, but fun. Wet but fun. Three yeah. words. And now, let's go jump in the hot tub. More wet. <laughs> but good wet. Good wet. <laughs>